Okay guys, welcome back to uh, Magrasa, continuing with Leo's lockdown here again. So what we're going to look at today is maybe, first of all, why am I studying different techniques, I suppose. And uh, the first thing is we have to remember why we're doing this, not for the good of our health to get points. Come mark it, I don't know who's screwed it. So it's the cash in it. Lang in the the So the layout of the question, what the hell is going on here? It's the same as Kolskar, it's the same as Gavin. Three questions, a 30 mark question, split up like this. 15, 6 and 9. Is that the case though? No, nope. exactly. We're going 13, we're going 5 and we're going 7. And that brings us up to 25. Well done, higher than maths. And you get 5 then for your grade and you get 5 for your Irish. Five marks for your Irish, and 25 for your information. So, what type of questions are we expecting or are we looking at? People say to me, oh, with the poetry, it's very difficult. It's not. It's very simple. You can be asked two or three different things about every poem. For example, Gavin, the contrast on Chodersmuk. You can be asked about uh, Ivana, images, because there's two different images of the line. In this poem, it's very, very simple also. For the big question, We'll go back on the 15 marker. You're going to be asked about one thing. The man, the images, or the relationship. And to be honest, they're the same question. Because the images are all about the man, the man is explained in the images, and the relationship is modern, and it's shown by the way she can describe the man in the images. So that's pretty much going to be the big question, one way or another. All they do is change the wording of it. It doesn't change really the meaning of the question. The six mark question, I think, for this poem would always be... Nelubi, the brackets. That's not a guarantee, but it's the only poem in the course where there's brackets in the poem. Everyone always says, do I have to read the bracket? Yes, read the brackets. It's not that complicated. It's just a bit unusual. And what do the brackets do? That's what we're going to be answering. And finally, nine marks, or seven really, as we discussed already, for the poet. Three marks for her life, information about her life. Three marks for her works. And finally, one mark for her name. That gives us seven, and you get two then for your Irish mark at the end. Is that clear enough? So three questions, that's the way we'll be looking at doing them. I want you to have a look please for me on page 86 and 87 of your book. On page 86 we're looking at the cooler up here. Kulra is your background. That's the first thing that we're going to look at, your background. Kulra and Don. So when you get a question on a poem, we spoke with this before that everyone in the country, 9 out of 10 people, will repeat the words of the question as an introductory phrase or introduction to their answer. I don't want you to do that, and I spoke with this before, because if everyone can do it, then it's not impressive. So what we want us to do is have one or two phrases. We know the question is going to be about images. It's going to be about the man and the relationship. So because of that, we're able to prep in advance some nice little set opening that can be a little bit more impressive than repeating the words of the question like the other 30 people around you. So let's think about that. Cooler, the first point. I'm going to go through not all of these, just some of them here. Is Don Adrum, this is page 86 again. Is Don Adrum, Granver, August Newell Einfler, Aon Dodge. This is a light funny, modern poem. Light, funny, and modern. In Irish, we like to give things in threes. If you can't remember threes, get one at least, and get one of those words. Second point I want also, is ear a freshen? It's a satire. Remember, ear was on the board last time. It's a satire. And that's important. That's the type of poem it is. You need to get that in somewhere along the way. The fourth point, highlight this. Highlight this point. This is really, really important. I want this in your answers. Ni chana don gra e. It's not a normal love poem. Mar luan an fila na luchtane because the poet mentions the faults. Na luchtane ata era gra that her love one has. Okay, so the faults of the man. 
We're going to go down to the third last bullet point there on page 86. Nor a hinter on taver a ta idir lubini. When we understand on taver, think of our school, the school subjects. When we understand the subject, idir lubini between brackets, fights her amok, we find out. Ke ko kuchinte. Just how common the husband is in all honesty. And I'll go through that again, it's a long one. That's something you might do at the end of your answer. So put a star at the end of that one, star on the end of it, Dara on right at the end of the answer. Nor a hinter on top or top hinter lubini. When we understand the subject between brackets, fighter and mock, we find out keiko kuchi into just how common is the top and far, how common the man is in our era, in all honesty, in all seriousness. And finally, then the last bullet point, Tokter Kershi is stigul. I didn't give you that the last day. Shkigal means like a mocking. So we get a mocking, unsentimental description. A mocking, unsentimental description. That's a brilliant opening for any answer. Because when you're talking about the images, they're going to be funny described and they're unsentimental. And they're mocking the man for his looks. And they're mocking the old love poems as well. That's good. Have a read then through page 87 there for me, please. I want you to have a look. That's Nula Nigonal there up in the top right hand corner. Um, and then you've got two weird pictures at the end of page 87. I don't know why I put them in, but there you have it. Enjoy them if you like. I'm going to go through some of the notes about Nula and Egon. Remember, name, one mark. Three points of better life, three points of better work. That will give you your full seven marks here. So pause this for a second, have a read down, have a read down, and then I'll come back when you press play again. Okay, so Rugak Nula in Lancashire. Nula Nigonal was born in Lancashire. Yes, you've heard that correct. In Lancashire, England. And she didn't look for an Irish exemption. I wonder why. Sosna Savine Nida in the year 1952. Vogshi got Kirka Guina. She moved to Kirka Guina in Urvishi when she was young. Um, again, that's probably important. I doubt she had too much Irish in Lancashire, but I'm not sure to tell you the truth. Khashi Tresha Ilinnach Lalina Hoige. Kashi Rint Ama, she spent some time, she spent periods in Limerick during her youth. That's probably not the best, but we have better stuff we can add in. Fourth one, Drasko Shier, this is important, to attend. She attended Kalashta Naholskola Kirkig, UCC. August von, she came a She got a degree, Sochelge in Irish, August Severla in English. A degree in English and Irish from UCC. Next point. Point number five, Dalshi, she published Knusuch Filiachta, a collection of poetry. Fishel Gainaruk of Filiacht. Knusuch Filiachta. Um, sorry, I've lost my voice. Anjala Dragin Sabli Nide Ukdohain. So 1981 of Jalak Dragin. Number six, this is one I would say for the line through, you don't need it. It's probably a bit OTT, too much information. Foshi Far on Turk, she married a man from Turkey. Uh, his name is next, and then they have four children. Don't think that's really important to her poetry. We don't really need that one. Put a stare if you want to be a little bit different. And finally, Takui Kanusa Filiach the Fajia Eki. She has published five collections of poetry, and I just named three there and I put the years in. Decide which ones you've won. So I've given you one, two, three, four different collections of her poetry. Be able to name two and put the years in also. Maybe three if you want to be sure, but that should be enough there. Is that okay? Um, that is the stuff that we're looking for. Three points about her life, three about her works, one for her name. Okay? And that up there is your nine mark question covered. Nine mark question covered. On page 88, moving along, this is where you're going to pause me again. You're going to pause me again here on the video, and what I've done is I put in page 88, 89, and 90. I've put in roughly 40 words that I've used on the board the last day, that have been in the notes so far. And what you're going to do is you're going to attempt them from memory. Again, what do I always ask you to do? And Rudd, is fire the den of the show? The best thing to do with this? No. Daha wana who saw the deuce board, our deuce, to use one colour, use your back or your blue pen first of all. Go through, put them into English for me. Anything you're not sure of, or you don't know, or you get from me, or you look it up using your phone or help, you put that in red or purple, or green, whatever floats your boat, it doesn't really matter. Put them in a different colour so that when you go back to do this, maybe again in a couple of days time, you might go, right, they were the ones I didn't know, I need to look at that again. Is that alright? So pause me now, 
take 12 minutes to go through these words, take your time. You can flick back, you can use the book if you want. Use a cal calculator, don't use a calculator, use a dictionary uh, if you're stuck and you need a bit of help. Definitely don't use a calculator, that will not help at all. So you can pause me, go 12 minutes. Okay guys, welcome back again. So what we're gonna go get through is here, I'm just gonna call out the words in English in a row. Tick, X, or fill them in. Stop the video at any time that you please. All right. Farkela, husband. Tavutuk, important. Ear, satire. Querfenuna, grapes. Riachtanish, the essentials. Dina, cochinta, common person. Kasula, like, similar to. Blahna, flowers. Gwail, relationship or linked to something. Rochongaruch, too close together. Shrang, delganuch, barbed wire. Togarty, ondulra, references from nature. Nonini, daisies. Shielda, silk. On to the top of page 89. We're going through this fast, so pause at any time you want. Just trying to get as much content in as possible so we can keep the show on the road. Luchtana, false. Nosfer, typical, conventional. Tradishunta, traditional. Edinamarmak is a loved one, 19. Makanta, honest. Flahu, generous. Nis tabukti, more important. That's like nis lufra I used on the board down there, but nis tabukti, more important. Dahul, good looking, handsome. Kinaste, kind. Gran, humor. Egmaga, joking. Kumpra, comparison. Koma isakul, physical appearance. Nyav moihenach, unsentimental. Reiliach, realistic. Atmosphere, like the English atmosphere. Graver, loving. Dulra, nature. Swinto is a good word. I didn't put on the board in the last day. I didn't remember it at the time. It means thoughtful. That's probably what he is. He's thoughtful because he's thinking about it, looking after her. Mustor, my love. Sirsha, freedom. Curtius Shkigul, a mocking description. And then 38, 39, 30, 40 I had on the board the last day. Flahuluch, generosity. Kinastuch, kindness. And Makantuk, honesty. They're the words. You don't need all 40 of them. But if you have 20 of them pretty good, they're going to help you build up your language. And one of the bits that I want you to do for homework tonight is on page 104 to 107. So jump ahead to 104, 107. This is useful here for you. So make note of that. It's your first bit of homework, and I'm going to go through it with you now. 104 to 107. On 104, you'll see I've got words like husband, satire, common person, flowers, too close together, barbed wire. And again, if I'm asking you to write these words around the poem in an exam, I need to replicate that in your study patterns. If we do something in school, it has to replicate what you're going to do in the exam. So imagine you've written all these words around the poem, and then you come back to the poem and go, I can't correct sentences then, I've never done that. That's not why I've studied. Well then it's useless. I'm asking you to put words around the poem, and then I'm saying to you, here's your first bit of exercise. Those words there, I want you to put them into sentences in Irish. It's fair not a number to be for her down. You can create any sentence in the world. Fween Don about the poem. So Marhamla, Farkele. Fector, Farkele, Cochinta, Sadansha. We see a common husband in this poem. Fector Farkele, Nakwil Dahul, that isn't good looking. I don't care. You've got the freedom. It can be as hard or as easy as you like. You can use a dictionary to help you with this one. Use Chongyan.ie. You can use that if you want to put Tishul Yenerux in. Mark the ones you're unsure of because when you come back, if we're all alive, hopefully, when you come back, we'll be able to check some of the sentences there and we see how we get off. So 104, 105, 106, 107 is our homework there tonight. That's the first bit of homework that I want us to do. Okay, so make note of that somewhere, write it on your forehead if necessary. Whatever the hell you want. Okay, a book of Rashidish. Page 91 now. These two sentences are very, 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 very useful when answering these poems. These are two set bits of information. I say, learn one of the other to a student. And it's kind of a really good opening or a really good closing. They're just good bunch of phrases to put together. So the first one is, 
Is ear a and don show, she shin la raw, gardan mogul adrum, a in a will, or sorry, in a gone in on filla, a far kayla, august in a luinch in a ligi galerata on. That describes the poem perfectly, that says very quickly, so let's go through it slower. Is ear a and don show, this poem is an ear, not one of them, but a satire. She shin la raw, gardan mogul adrum, a, that is a light, funny poem. In a Ghanin to criticize, where the poet criticizes Conan on Phila, Afar Kayla, her husband, her possession on Irish doesn't take a shavu when it starts on a consonant, so Afar, no shavu. August in a Luanshi, and when she mentions, Naligi Galer Taega, all his weaknesses. Another word if you want to make a difference in the person beside you, the Luktanet Taega. And the second one then. This is more towards the end of the middle of an answer. In an on shin, despite this. Ni ni ear sharab. It's not bitter, it's not harsh. It's not a harsh satire. Ton fila sauce election var. The poet is happy with the man. I was umpian to flip. She flips. Umpian. On fila, on dawn draw nose for bonos chun. She flips the modern love poem. That is really, really good to get in. She flips the Don Grand Nostra, the typical love poem, Bono's Chion upside down. August Crohin, she fronts her. She creates a farce. What's a farce? A joke of a situation in an arch in its place. Okay? And they are two phrases you probably won't be able to learn both, but if you can get one or the other into an answer, it's going to be really, really good. Page 92, 93, 94, 95. We're dealing with Ivana images. Folklore done. Ivana. Again, you're going to have questions about the images in this poem. Sometimes students say to me, Shane, I've got all those hard words you put in the poem, but I can't do the basic description of what's going on again. I've kind of forgot I haven't focused on that. So this is where we start small, and we, as we go further down each image, we build up to harder, more difficult vocab. Again, you need to see language at least nine times before you're really familiar with it. So if I put it on the board, you do your exercises, you go through some of the notes me. At the end of all my pages, I've got the words in English, you've got to go back and pick them out in Irish. Don't get lazy. Remember, keep doing that. Keep finding your vocab. Here's another bit of practice. This could be time five or time six, depending on what you're doing. On page 92, I've got notes there about the images. I'm not going to go through them all with you because I've done some of that already, but we can take questions when I'm back. It's just basically talking about the, the images. The one I will say to you is um, on page 92, the second bullet point. Gminic Fogriach, Gerevan Lanun, Gon Lucht. Often it was announced that the loved one was without fault. That's the only thing there that it was a bit tricky. And then on pages 93, 94, 95, when I go to 96, I did 93, 94, 95. And what I'm doing there is I pick out the image in the first stanza, the first bit, on Cade Ron. Ismata ain hue legala noni ni asasa closa asfashi, it starts in verse two. If he has any correlation to daisies it's from his ears, they will grow. And I've given you four basic sentences, what's going on there. Tani Vasha Sudan Iversa Do. Tatogati Dundulur, there's references to nature. Simple. Tan fila of the poet's realistic. August is Eva Granver G H is Eva Granver Isha. It's a funny image. So what do you do from there? I've given you two more bullet points and I've left out the space. You now, I've given you the basics. You go and put your own trickier Irish to describe that image because that's what you have to do in this big answer for 15 marks. You need to describe the image and link it back. So that's what you're doing there on 93. On 94, I have a second image put in about Nihang Glashi Hjolver Ia the Hula. His eyes are not like musical streams; they're too close together. Again, I've started off with something simple. It's Eva Bacante, Isha. You finish off the rest for me. And 95, I went with the man, Togenshe Donula. The bit about the end about Parson Tochnis Luchfra. Personality is more valuable. Not the Hulak, then looks, or not Aliuk, then beauty. And what you do is, again, I gave you some easy stuff there. Finish off 95, that's the other part of your homework. So you're looking there for me at page 92, all the way to 95. When I say homework, you do them at your class time, but I just won't be watching you on the screen. That'll be creepy. So, what we are looking at there is getting them done for me. The last bit I want to tackle is Nalubi. Kind of 
Kadid, Kadzal Geshlo, Kadi Energy, what do they do? What are they for? What is this all about? Well, for me, they do one of two things. First thing for me is they give the poem grand, they give it humour. Second thing they give it is they give it bjocht, life, and they give it fwin of energy. That's what the brackets do. Without the brackets probably in the poem, it's just basic plain old bullying, which you're not allowed to do anymore. So, what we're talking about here is the humour, and we're talking about the life and the energy that the poem gets from these brackets. Fine with Eva Radio, we get a realistic image, an ear in the name, the truth. is Makonte. Makonte. Honest, the truth, realistic image. You can say Yvonne if you want, and then we ready a gap, but it doesn't matter. So that's what the brackets do. Like that, okay? And that's what the six mark question will be about. And you just have to go on and say, you see in the brackets that he's just your average Joe. Then a cochita. Okay, so have something in the back of your mind because when we do go to do the 2013 exam question, that is one of the questions on it. So I'm not giving you a set answer. If we have set answers, set answers don't do well. The first six are impressive, the next 56 are a pain because they're all the same. So we're not doing set answers, we're giving you. What am I giving you? As I said to you before, I'm giving you all the raw material to build your own answers. Ideas, different things that we can look at. So for homework, you're doing 104 to 107, 92 to 95 is classwork. And finally, you're prepping six lines, no more than six lines for me on that. Six lines on that. Okay guys, I will see you for our next class.